Hello, I'm Graham Beckett, one of the leaders from YPJ, and today we're going to be learning from a true Bible story from the book of John, chapter 9. It's all about how Jesus healed a blind man so that he could see again. Now I'm in Cornwall at the moment, enjoying a short break down here. And one of the things we really like doing when we're down here is stand up paddle boarding. A lot of us call, call it supping, S-U-P, stand up paddle board. Well, I'm uh, just gonna lift the camera up now and uh, show you my stand up paddle board. There you go. Can you see it? There, it's 10 foot six long. That means they're here. On it is my beautiful black carbon fibre paddle. These are wonderful things, paddle boards. So we'll come back to position. Well, one of the things they tell you uh, when you're learning to paddle board is that as soon as you stand up, you need to look ahead. Look ahead, as this helps you balance and you can see where you're going. It's very important to be able to see where you're going. Our eyesight is very important, isn't it? And it must be very hard to do so many things when you are blind. Just imagine trying to choose clothes, or your favourite sweets in a shop if you couldn't see, or even just walking back to your house. Of course, in Jesus' time, there weren't all the helps, probably not the guide dogs and the technology that we have today. So let's read about this true story from John chapter nine about Jesus and the blind man. Well, to the blind man, it seemed like an ordinary day. He had been blind from birth and he spent his days sitting by the side of the road, asking people for money. His blindness meant that he couldn't work and so he couldn't earn any money. He had no choice but to ask people to help him so he could buy food to eat. But in fact, this wasn't just going to be any other day, it was going to be a very special day as Jesus was walking by with his disciples. And as they walked by, the disciples had a very interesting question for Jesus. They believed that this man was blind because he was being punished by God for doing something bad. So they asked Jesus who it was who had sinned, who had done the wrong things. Was it the blind man or perhaps his parents? Well, Jesus told them that they had made a mistake in their thinking. He said, it isn't the man's fault or his parents. No, he is blind so that God can show his great power. What an amazing thing. Now Jesus knew it was soon going to be time for him to die. So he said, I must do God's work while there is still time. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Well, what do you think Jesus meant when he said, I am the light of the world? God wants us all to see clearly who he is and see what he is like, to see his love and his kindness to us. Jesus is God, and so when we see what Jesus does, we see what God does and how he loves us. We see things with our eyes, don't we? But when we understand something, we might say, I see what you mean now to show that we understand. So that word seeing can mean understanding or knowing too. I see it in my head. Now Jesus did something very strange to help the man. He spat on the ground and made some mud out of his spit and the dust there. And then he put this mud on the man's eyes. Can you imagine that? That must have been very weird. He then told the man to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means scent. 
the blind man did exactly what Jesus had instructed. He went to the pool and washed the mud from his eyes. And guess what? As he walked home from the pool, he found that he could see. Can you imagine how amazing it would have been to see the rocks, the sky, perhaps the dirt track, trees, buildings perhaps for the first time? Just imagine being blind all your life and suddenly seeing people for the first time ever. How strange they would look. And think of all the different colours he could now experience. Never knew what they looked like before. This must have been an amazing time for him. Perhaps a bit scary too. When Jesus was in the world, he showed people what God was like and taught them through what he said and all that he did so that they could see God. Now you and I can't see God with our eyes today, can we? But we can find out exactly what he is like. Jesus shows us through what we read of him in the Bible. So what about the other people, these other people who live near the blind man? How did they react when they looked at him walking back and realised that he could see? Well, they asked each other, isn't this the blind man who used to sit by the road and beg? Some said, yes, it's him. Others said, no, it's someone else who just looks like him. But the man himself knew, and he said very clearly, yes, I am that man. So they asked him, how did your eyes get better? And he replied, the man Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to the Siloam pool and wash. So I went and washed, just like he told me to. And then I could see. So where is this man Jesus? They asked him. I don't know, he said. And he really had no idea where Jesus had gone. But you know, we know, don't we, that Jesus, who called himself the light of the world, had brought light into this blind man's world for the very first time. The reason Jesus did this was that he wanted to show all the people that God cares about very much, more than we can imagine, in fact, and he is very powerful, powerful enough to make a blind man see. What an incredibly special and happy day this was for the blind man he met with God because he met with Jesus, who loved him and did not judge him for begging on the side of the road. Instead, Jesus got to demonstrate God's love by healing him. And his neighbours were amazed and got to see something of God's love and power too. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And you know, as you read and understand the Bible, my prayer and the prayer of all your leaders is that same light will shine into your world too. That Jesus, God, will be revealed to you. Thank you for listening to me today. Have a good day.